talk about something that is really talked about in God farming. We are going to talk about the purpose of paddocking. So I, would, I always like to call paddocking a control setting. And it's important to know that paddocking helps and is very key. It helps a lot in things that people don't realize. Now, biosecurity, uh, it helps in biosecurity, accountability, and uh, breeding. Now, under biosecurity, if I told you I have paddocking and the disease outbreak comes on the farm, it helps you from losing the entire herd. You see, if I told you have one paddock and it's attacked by a disease, it's not going to be able to spread to the other one. So you will not be able to lose the entire herd. And the second thing is, we're going to look at um, accountability. Accountability. It's easy to count these animals and know that uh, this particular animal is missing. If at all, there is a paddocking. You can know that, you can, you can tag and know that uh, the locals are in a particular paddock. You know the does are in a particular paddock. You also know that the kids are in the particular paddock and the ex lactating mother, mothers. Another thing it also helps, uh, if at all we have the expecting, expecting does, we can control the accident. You can't keep the expecting does together with, uh, with the bucks because there will be uh, accidents due to, due to the rough nature of these animals and we shall end up having abortions which we don't want because those are losses to the farm. Another thing that we want to look at is breeding. If at all we keep, uh, if at all we keep the, this savanna and, uh, and the boars in the same paddock, we shall not know what to expect as kids. Or if we keep also the castrates, we shall not know, it, uh, if we keep the local, the local bucks in the, same buck, in the same paddock, we shall not know what to expect. So when we have paddocks of uh, does, separate from the uh, paddocks of the of of, uh, of the of the bucks we can know that okay for this season we want to have kids of uh, of pure sa of, of savannas so we can get we can go to the to the paddock that has the uh, bucks we pick a, a, the, the breed that we want to we will pick the cast the, the boar that we want to breed with and bring it into the paddock of the of the does and that's very important in pa in breeding so paddocks have been underlooked but need more attention. Another thing is, uh, if at all, uh, I don't know if you have heard about natural synchronization. Natural synchronization is a, is is where we have we have a bug introduced into into doors for a particular period of time, uh, usually three months, so that within that period of time, that bug is done breeding with all our all our doors that have been prepared for the breeding season. Now. When we remove the bark and out of, uh, when we remove the bark out of these doors, when we uh, after 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 the the gestation period, we expect to have kids that are born within the same period of three months. That means when they when they grow and they're winners to doors, we shall have a uniform a uniform um, average average age and weight of uh, of these kids. So we ca it is easy to classify. It is easy to classify these animals and also it helps us when we are selling off in large numbers. We can know that this batch has an average weight of, let me say, approximately 45 kilograms. Now that we have looked at the importance of the paddocks, now I want us to talk about the key must have paddocks on every farm. And there are six in number, so there are the six must have paddocks on every farm. One, the sick bear. Two, the quarantine area. Three, the expecting and lactating doe uh, paddock. Four, the does that are going to be used for breeding paddock. The five, the castrates and bucks paddock. And six, we need to know that we have also the kids paddock. Now, some of you may be asking me, why should we have a sick bay as well as a quarantine paddock? Because you may think that they serve uh, the same purpose. But I beg to oppose, because you may have some sick animals that need to be separated from the healthy animals to avoid spreading of the disease, but at the same time, you want to restock. And if any animals are coming from outside the farm, they need to be first quarantined to make sure that they do not have any diseases that can be spread to the entire, to the entire flock. However, this does not mean that they are also sick. So we cannot mix them together 
with the sick animals in the sick paddock or have them in the same paddock and usually this quarantine period is uh, approximately two weeks and in uh, maybe more specific situations we might might be longer but uh, usually it is about two weeks thank you very much